Have you ever had someone say to you, pick your poison, or maybe say we all pick our poison? What does that even mean? Well, tonight, let's apply that to things that we allow into our homes and our lifestyles that are affecting our health. I want to break down for you or alert you to some of the most toxic things that we tend to encounter in the American lifestyle and American home. These things are worldwide, but for some reason, America seems to be a little behind on banning the use of certain things that could harm our health. So let's look at where these are lurking and what we can do about getting them out of our lifestyle. My theme for tonight is know better, do better. So let's learn and know, and then I'll give you some actions so that you can do better for yourself as well. First, I want you guys to know about the Toxic Substance Control Act of 1976. I knew nothing about this until just a few years ago. This act grandfathered in 100,000 chemicals that are allowed in everyday use products that we use in our homes every day. <laughs> but only 3,000 of these chemicals have been tested and the test results are not good. So why are these things still allowed in our products outside of the fact that they make someone a lot of money? These products that these chemicals are hidden in can include our personal care for the whole family from baby all the way up to mom and dad. Don't let the fact that something says it's labeled safe for a baby trick you. They still use toxic things in those products. Studies show that babies are born with hundreds of chemicals in their cord blood from mom. And if you look at what's actually in the products for those babies today, they're not safe either. So really do your research on what's in there. That one gets me just a little bit warm, if you can tell. Keeping our babies safe from these things is, is a huge passion of mine. They can also be hidden in things like our cleaning supplies, laundry care, air fresheners, wax melts, and candles. These are some of just the top areas, most popular things you'll find in our homes that the chemicals are hiding in. And let me tell you guys, four years ago, <laughs> I met a girl, the girl who introduced me to, to Young Living. Her name is Allie. We got to be friends on Facebook after she started coming to our church. I saw her posting about her natural cleaner that helped build the respiratory system instead of tearing it down. And I saw her posting about oils for this and oils for that. And I thought, okay, she's one of those people. And I am not one of those people. And I will never be one of those people. But she's nice. She's friendly. We'll be friends. I'll just like ignore all of what she has to say as far as natural things because it's, it's just not necessary and I don't need it. And it would just be a hassle to change all these things. Uh, hi, four years later, here I am tonight telling you all about these things because it has come to mean so much to me in the last few years. So I'm thankful for her and for her consistently showing up and just talking about what she used and why she used it and sharing her passion as well because it changed my life. So I want to show you what you can do to take control. But first, let's talk about body burden. I had never heard of this until maybe last year. But this is how that over time slow buildup of toxic things in our bodies shows up. And no one, when you go to get help for different health issues, no one says to you, well, have you looked at what you're putting on your face every morning? Have you looked at what you're spraying your counters with or washing your dishes with? Have you looked at, they don't point there. They ask you your symptom, they slap a bandaid on it and tell you to go on your merry way. Well, those things may be helpful in some certain circumstances, but they're not getting to the root issue. So body burden can show up as fatigue and insomnia. So you're tired because you're not getting enough sleep. Headaches and migraines, I truly believe this is one of the reasons or one of the ways that my toxic body burden was showing up. It, it had to do with other things as well. Um, but I think that was one of them for me. Mood changes and anxiety, brain fog and dementia. Dementia, y'all, like this is a huge 
thing. My grandfather um, is dealing with Alzheimer's, dementia, something in that neighborhood. I don't remember his exact diagnosis, um, but he has really bad days with it sometimes. He has good days, but he has really bad days as well. And it's really, really sad. And it angers me to know that these chemicals are allowed in our products when they are known to cause these things and they do not tell us. This is why I'm so passionate about know better, do better. <laughs> also, it can cause skin issues. This would include things like eczema, um, aller allergic reactions, rashes that are just kind of unknown, which according to um, something I heard a chiropractor teach recently, eczema actually means rash of unknown origin. They just basically came up with a word to tell you that they don't know what's going on. <laughs> so there's that. Um, it can also show up in hormone disruptions. This was definitely part of my issue um, that was also tied into the migraines. Indigestion and inflammation. None of these things are fun. And yet all of us have most likely exhibited one of them. But we have no idea that this is tied to this. Also, let's look at our kids today. And, and this is, like I said, one of my passions as far as like, what are we putting on our kids, especially from birth? One in three kids is overweight. One in six have a learning disability. One in nine has asthma. One in 10 has ADD. One in 12 has food allergies. Hello, that kid was me. One in 20 has seizures. One in 88 has autism and 50% of kids have a chronic disease or are overweight. This is a problem. We need to fix this and it could be as simple as getting the toxins out of your home. And that may sound incredibly daunting. Don't let it freak you out. We'll talk about how to easily switch that out in just a minute, okay? So your choices right now that are staring you in the face, there's only two. You can change nothing and nothing changes. Or you can take the small steps to change everything. Those are your choices. And it, I wanted to put that there because I want you to realize how serious this is. I don't want you to approach it like I did. Where it's like, ah, that's crazy and I don't need it. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And the changes in my life, in Jared's life, and and in what I know James is not experiencing now are huge. Huge. So you change nothing and nothing changes. Or you take the small steps to change everything. So let's look at some solutions. I usually try not to be super product focused in my education, but tonight I want to show you all of the different things that Young Living has that can cover what you would need to switch out of your home. So for your cleaning options, because these are some of the most toxic things that we come into contact with, we have our Thieves line. I'm not going to show you every product that comes in the Thieves line because you can easily go to Young Living's website and go under uh product lines or you know living brands whatever the header is there um, and go click thieves and it will show you everything that we have in our thieves line but some of my favorite things are our thieves cleaner and our kitchen and bath scrub so these are these cleaner will replace replace every cleaner in your house um, the statistics I've seen from young living say that you can make 17 bottles of cleaner out of this one bottle of concentrate I have a feeling I get way more than that. I've never really counted, but this bottle will usually last me about a year. Um, maybe less if I'm like washing stuff a ton or using it to make other things. But as far as just cleaning, it can last you up to a year. But if you got 17 bottles at minimum out of this bottle, that would mean that one 16, 14 to 16 ounce bottle of cleaner would cost you $1.32 if you bought the cleaner at the 24% subscription price. You cannot beat $1.32 for natural cleaner. You just can't. Then the kitchen and bath scrub, I love this one. It's a great replacement for um, 
all of those powdery cleaners. I don't want to name name brands and get in trouble legally or whatever. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. Those things that like you pour them on something, you breathe it in, you start coughing, you can't stand it. And you just need a minute to recover before you can even clean your tub or whatever you're cleaning with it. I love this. I have seen it help me get soap scum off of my bathroom um, shower doors that I could not get the stuff off of. It helped me with that. It took me a few um, times of scrubbing it, but I got it off. It helps um, clean like my shower walls, my kitchen sink. Uh, what else have I used it on? Like anything I've used it on, it's done amazing. <laughs> so I love that. Also, our laundry detergent. This is huge, especially if you have someone in your family who deals with those skin issues from toxins. Anything that we wash our clothes in then rubs off on our skin later and out gases into our closet for up to two weeks. And so many of the laundry products out there are filled with synthetic fragrances. Those fragrances are killing you slowly and are terrible for asthma and other breathing issues. So switching out just your laundry soap can really help your skin and your lungs. So just think about that. Um, I use like a quarter cap full of the laundry soap to do an entire load of laundry. Um, you can use a, like that's my HE washer. If you have a regular washer, you can do half a cap, whatever. Um, some people have ways they like to dilute it and make it go further. I personally just like to use it straight, but it lasts me two or three, at least three months. I know I don't order it any more than three months. Definitely not every other month. Like it lasts me a long time. Also in our thieves line, one of my other favorite things is our dishwasher detergent and our dish soap. So, um, what you put on your dishes is super important because you wash it in that and you may rinse it, but those chemicals do not rinse off. The suds do, but the chemicals don't. And then those chemicals leach into your food as you feed your family. You would not lay a bag or whatever of chemicals on, on a plate and tell your family, eat this. But that's literally what's happening when we wash our dishes in those bright blue and green and yellow and whatever other colored dish soaps that are out there. Young Living's, there is no chemicals in it. It's all plant-based. It cleans the dishes well. The dishwasher powder, um, it's like a pound of powder in the bag and then I mix a pound of baking soda into it to dilute it and make it go farther. Cleans really well. If you do have um, issues with like cloudiness, you can use vinegar in the rinse. Um, like detergent area. Some people also add citric acid to the powder to help with that as well. There's multiple things that I've heard people try that works for them, but get the chemicals off the dishes. Like just switching these three things will make a huge difference in removing that body burden from your family. And then for our personal care, we have so many options for that, but a statistic that horrifies me is women because of our beauty routines and whatever in the morning, women typically apply over 800 chemicals and that's on the low side of the statistic. They apply over 800 chemicals to themselves before they ever leave the house. We're talking hair products, personal care, makeup, um, whatever else you may slather or spray on before you leave the house. Over 800 chemicals. That's right there just in your morning routine. That's body burden like crazy. So no better, do better. Here's some options. We have multiple lines for skincare. There's our art line. This is for uh, skin like 40 and older. Um, I love the art light moisturizer. My skin is not 40 or over, but I love it. Um, so anyone can use it, but it is more geared toward that age group of skin. Our bloom line is for um, skin that wants to be brightened or even up your skin tone. I have used it. It smells like apple blossom because it has apple extract of some kind in it. Um, it is amazing for brightening your skin and evening your tone. My skin was not particularly fond of it. I loved it, but I had some issues. My skin just wasn't liking it. Um, so I, I moved to something else that Young Living has, like not everything may be perfect for you. I'll be upfront and honest about that. Not every Young Living product has been great for me specifically, but there are other options. 
Um, so Bloom Line for evening the skin tone and brightening it. Um, and then Orange Blossom. This is formulated more for like young, like teenage to young 20s type skin. Um, somewhere in there. I like this because my skin can be pretty oily and I'll break out sometimes. So there's our charcoal um, bar soap, which is amazing. You can use it for your whole body, but especially your face. It has the orange blossom oils in it. Um, then there's also an orange blossom face wash, which is um, kind of like a foamy type something. I'm not exactly sure what uh, bottle it comes in. I've had little sample packets, excuse me, that I put in a foaming bottle <laughs> and use that way. <coughs> Sorry, y'all, got a dry spot. Um, so there's that. And then um, I guess kind of sort of also in this line now. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute because it's another bullet point. Never mind. I won't get ahead of myself. And then also our shoe trend line. This is for the guys. So there is a three in one like hair, body, whatever wash because we know men just like to do it and be done. Um, as far as their personal care goes, most of them anyway. Um, also, there's an after not aftershave, there's a shave cream, uh, a beard oil, the shoe trend oil itself, and a bar soap. I think that's everything in the shoe trend line. It smells amazing. Uh, Jared has the bar soap and like I could sniff that thing all day long. It's just so good. Then we have our seedlings and kids sense line. Seedlings is all of our baby products. We have used these on James since he was born. I love them. They smell like heaven beautiful flower kind of essence to them, but not like alarmingly so. Um, so wipes, lotion, linen spray, baby oil, the um, ah, shampoo and body wash combination. So I love that line. Then we have the Kid Sense. So this is for like two plus um, but honestly, you could use it on a newborn baby. It'd be fine. But they have lotion, shower gel, um, shampoo and conditioner combination. I know I'm missing something. Toothpaste. Yeah. If I didn't say it in seedlings, there's also a diaper rash cream. That stuff is magic. Um, so all of those for the babies and the kids. Also, our kid lines has supplements. I, it has nothing to do with personal care, but there are supplements too, which are incredible. That's a whole nother class, but take that for what it's worth. Then for makeup, if you love makeup, you will love Savvy Minerals makeup. Um, we have powder foundation or a liquid foundation. So there's those. We have liquid concealers, which is like this mama's best friend so that I do not look older than I am and more tired than I am, or maybe not as tired as I am. <laughs> However you want to put that. I like to hide as much as I can as far as like looking dragged out and worn out. Um, we have multiple family colors of lipstick, um, lip gloss if lipstick is not your thing. Um, we have our lip lux, which is just the glossy finish. It, it's no color. You just put like the gloss over something or just wear it on its own. Um, we have veil. We have bronzer and blush and eyeshadow. We have some mineral eyeshadow. We have pressed palettes. There's so, so much. I love that line. Anything you could want is there. Um, hand soaps also foaming hand soaps. I love those. I dilute them to get three bottles out of one. So they come in lavender, luscious lemon or thieves scent. Oh, amazing. I love, I haven't tried the lavender but I love lavender anyway. And then Thieves is like awesome for fall and winter smells so good. And lemon is great like for spring and summer. So I literally just switched mine out today to the Thieves because it's fall now. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. That dry spot's getting me and I did not bring any water in here. Um, Let's see. Then the lotions. So we just put out a Luscious Lemon Lotion to match the hand soap, which is great. I love that. Um, And then there's also a lavender one that matches the lavender hand soap. And there's other sense of it. The sensation is probably my favorite lotion. It's an amazing smell. I can't even describe it to you, but it's, it's so good. And then last but not least, we also have scrubs and masks. Uh, we just released our charcoal mask in July, June, July, 
something like that. Whenever our convention was, I think it was the end of June. <laughs> this year's flown by. It is amazing. I love using this. You, you rub it on and it dries on your face and then you wet your washcloth and wipe it off. There is no peeling, no like, ouch, that really hurts. Nothing like that. You can also use it kind of as a spot treatment for breakouts to help just get your skin back to normal. I have done that in just one application. I have seen a difference in the redness in my skin. I also like to follow that up with some tea tree in some water with some witch hazel and just mist my face. Really helps all of that to just go back to the way it's supposed to be. So there's a little tip for you. But I love that mask. And then we also have a poppy seed lip scrub a satin mint face scrub and one for the feet as well in the mint. I have not tried the foot scrub. I've tried the other two. So good. So good. So if that's your jam, highly recommend those. Then for switching out your wax melts and candles and air fresheners, I want you to look at one of our diffusers. Pick anyone you want. We have Feather the Owl. Snowy the Owl I think is still there. Um, he was a holiday special last year, but I think he's still there. We have a white diff a lantern diffuser. Sometimes there's a charcoal lantern diffuser. Um, we have our desert mist diffuser, which is probably one of the most well-known ones. So many options. Um, and they're so pretty. Haven is also one of my favorites. It's a little white ceramic diffuser. If you've seen any of my stories, it's the one I keep in my kitchen window. So, so sweet and cute. Um, so whatever you want. There's even kind of one that they designed for the guys this year. It's called Ember. It's kind of like a charcoal color top um, and then like a wooden colored base. And it has one small like LED strip light at the bottom of it. So um, lots of different options. So those are all my switches and suggestions. And I feel like this has gone longer than I wanted to, but I wanted you to see really like all of the options that you guys have um, to switch these things out. And this is just scratching the surface. Like if I really dove into everything we have, we would be here all night long. So I always tell you how to grab a hold of these things. So since we talked about so much, um, I do not have like one specific bundle for you. Um, if you're wanting to switch out your cleaners and that sort of thing, my suggestion is grabbing our Thieves Bundle. Our Thieves Bundle is $125. It comes with two bottles of the cleaner, two hand sanitizers, two hand soaps, a thing of Thieves toothpaste, which is another thing you should switch out because fluoride's bad for you. Look it up. It's a neurotoxin. Um, what else comes in that bundle? Two Thieves spray so you can purify surfaces on the go. A bottle of our Thieves essential oil, which is amazing for diffusing and smells just like fall. Like you don't have to do anything to it. Um, and your immune system will love it. I think that's most of what comes in there, but you can go find that on the website or I can send you um, my link, whatever works for you, or there's always my QR code, which is sitting on the screen right now. So if you want something specific, let me know. I can put a bundle together for you. Otherwise, you can just scan this QR code and it will take you right to Young Living. It'll plug my member information in for you so that you get attached to me. Um, and then you'll have access to me as your oily guide and access to my specific team education and the larger team I'm part of where they educate so, so much. And I have learned a ton in the last four years. So um, always know that when you're getting something from Young Living, you're not just buying product. You are um, investing in yourself. You're going to be getting education. You're going to be getting a community who's going to support you and probably find one of your new best friends in there somewhere along the way as well. So you can follow those steps and then every week I want you guys to know how that subscribe to save and the loyalty rewards work so that you see why I think it's important to order on the subscription program, especially if you're switching stuff out. Um, I'm going to have a like year plan that I could send you to switching out. You know what? I'll just post it in the comments. I'll post a graphic in the comments and show you guys how easily in one year, totally affordably, you can switch out all of your toxic products. I will um, post that graphic in the comments. If it's Facebook, that'll work. It won't work for Instagram or YouTube. So if you're seeing this on Instagram and YouTube, 
shoot me a message and I will shoot you that graphic so that you can see what I'm talking about. But that is all I have for tonight. And I had to stop slouching because <laughs> I had started slouching and now I need to come and say goodbye. So I hope that was helpful and kind of opened your eyes to the things you can do to switch some things out in your home to help you have a healthier lifestyle in general, but especially a healthier fall. Um, these toxins will dampen the immune system and we want our immune system to be strong all year round, but especially in fall, um, which is kind of the time we really start to think about that a little more. So I hope you guys are doing well so far this fall. I hope you're enjoying it, that the weather is gorgeous where you are, and that you will be back next Tuesday night to talk. We, oh man, I forgot to write it down. We are talking about, I forgot. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> I don't remember. But I will see you guys next Tuesday, and I will have my stuff written, and I will know what I'm talking about. So we will see you next Tuesday.